now on video and DVD. The adventures continue. First, it's the mystery of the missing sea berries. Oh no, they're gone! And only one very special person can save the day. <gasps> A mermaid! Strawberry Shortcake is back in Seaberry Beach Party. Then the game is on in Play Day Surprise. And everyone's a winner if you play hard, play fair, and most importantly, you don't have to be perfect. You just have to have fun. Don't you want to join us? Now you can bring home your very special friend in Seaberry Beach Party and Play Day Surprise, along with these other strawberry shortcake favorites. Collect them all, available on video and DVD. Get ready for the ride of a lifetime in the Roach Approach Don't Miss the Boat. It's the first in an all-new animated adventure series for the entire family. Join the Roach family as they live out classic Bible stories, including an epic journey on Noah's Ark. It's one exciting adventure after another. Don't miss the fun. Get the Roach Approach Don't Miss the Boat. Now on DVD and also new to DVD, the main event. The entire world of Garfield, now on DVD. I'll never figure that cat out. Between eating and sleeping, America's coolest cat is hanging out at home. <laughs> celebrating the holidays. I've opted to watch my waistline this holiday season. Huh? Traveling the world. Surviving his fantasies. If things get too hairy, John is always around to get us out of this fantasy. Or just hanging out with friends. Garfield, it's lunchtime. Now, where'd he go? You can bring home America's Fat Cat in all your favorite cartoons. Now available on DVD. Weird dream. <sighs> Dear Katie, how's camp? How are the horses? I wish I was there with you, but you know, my stupid allergy. It's probably not that much fun without me. Just kidding. Well, I guess it has to be more interesting than hanging around Greedwood Falls. Well, it's hot out. And there's not supposed to be much water, but my dad keeps on watering the lawn anyway. Well, I guess that's the most exciting thing happening around here. I feel like I'm stuck in the summer of the living dead. Sometimes I think I'm going a little crazy around here. Anyway, have you met any cute boys yet? Anna. Baseball tonight, Mom and Dad. Great.
Oh no! house. You can't miss it. It's huge. Are you going to send somebody? Hello? Hello? This is 911. Do you have an emergency? Hello? Hello? 911? Do you have an emergency? Yes, I have an emergency. I just told you. Aren't you listening to me? Hello? Hello? Is anyone on the line? Hello? There's something wrong with the phone. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? No! Open up, hurry up! We should just say hello. Sorry, sorry. Um, do you live around here? Yeah, just down the street. Good, we gotta use your phone. I just saw this thing hanging around outside the Dawson house. It threw a rock through my window. What kind of thing? Like a funny thing or a scary thing? Do I look like I'm laughing? Come on, let's go to your house. Okay, but we don't have a phone. Are you kidding? It hasn't been hooked up yet. We just moved in. Besides, no one's gonna believe you just saw something. You're gonna need proof. Where are you going? I want to see what you're talking about. Why? I like scary things. It was right up here. I don't see anything. I'll have a look around back. Scary, huh? Yeah, so who threw the rock through my window? I don't know. Maybe we should call the police. We could charge the kite with trespassing. What do you mean? It's on my property. I live here. No way. Nobody's lived in that old place for years. Somebody does now. That's impossible. I live over at 49. I know everything that happens in this neighborhood. I would have seen you moving in. Guess we caught you when you weren't looking. Where to go? Special delivery. <gasps> Very cool, Mr. Anderson. Danny. Hannah. Welcome to the neighborhood. I gotta go. See you later. Okay, see you later. Wait a sec. How'd you do that? Great. I'm gonna get blamed for this. <sighs> Dear Katie, so finally something happened around here. A new guy moved into the old Dodson house. He's cute. Kind of weird. I 
mean, he says he lives there, but the place still looks empty. Anyway, when you get back from camp, maybe you can meet him and tell me what you think. Mailman! Mr. Chesney! Mr. Chesney! Wait! Mr. Chesney, I've got a letter! <sighs> Thanks. Thanks a lot. should slow down! Hey, what's wrong? You can't see over the handlebars? Yeah, nice landing, Squirt. <laughs> <laughs> nice friends. They almost got you killed. I'm the new kid in town. I gotta show them my chicken. Hey, come on, let's go. See you around. That's weird. Katie, so this guy, the one who just moved in, there's definitely something weird about him. What I really want to do is go check out his house. You know, spy on him or something. But that would be wrong, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? What are you doing here? Oh, uh, hi. Uh, I just want to make sure you're okay. You know, from the bike crash. Y yeah, I I'm okay, thanks. So, could I check out your house? I bet you really fixed it up. No. I mean, not right now. It's a kind of a mess, you know? Hey, come on. I want to show you something. Danny? Enough. I'm getting out of here. You can stay in the dark for all I care. Okay, I hear you now.
No such thing as ghosts, right? Right. So it must have been my imagination, right? Wrong. I don't have that much imagination. I need to know what's going on in that house. I need information. House fire on Cordina claims family? Firefighters battled a three alarm house fire on Cordina Way last night. But even with the heroic efforts, there were no survivors of the blaze. The family's names have been withheld pending notification of next of kin. What's keeping this guy? Come on, let's go. I don't feel like waiting around for him all day. Yeah. What's with him anyway, you know? Sometimes it's like he just disappears. I guess your daddy's mom? I'm Hannah, your neighbor? He must have told you about me. Or not. Mrs. Anderson? Hello? Wait a second. You're not listening to me because you're not really here. You're a ghost too. What are you doing here? Oh. Don't act like you don't know, okay? I figured it out. I know all about you and your mother. You're ghosts. What? You want to tell me what the heck you're talking about? Stop acting innocent, okay? I saw you in your basement. And what's with all these candles, huh? Your mother sets the table, even though that oven hasn't been used in years. And why does she act like we're not even here? You don't live in this house. You're haunting it. Well, you found us out. I sure did. 
Yeah, we figured out that our electricity hasn't been turned on yet, so we can't use the stove, and that's also why we need candles. And my mother hasn't been listening to a word we've said because she's deaf. She's what? Deaf, you know, as in she can't hear. I'm glad she can't, because it would have really hurt her feelings you coming here and acting all weird like this. Danny, I'm, I'm so sorry. I don't know what to say. Nothing's wrong, Mom. I'll be right back. Hannah, wait. You must think I'm a complete loser. Well, not a complete one. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. You, you go, go first. You first. Okay. I was just gonna say I'm sorry. I should have told you about my mom and why I don't let people in the house. I, I just took you to the basement because, I don't know. I know it sounds dumb, but I, I guess I'm embarrassed. Don't be. I think it's cool. I want to learn sign language now so I can talk to your mom. Maybe I could teach you. I'd like that. Okay, it's your turn. What were you going to say? Well, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry I thought you were a ghost. It's just I got this story off the internet about our street and about this big house fire, and I just kind of thought you were dead. That's okay. Actually, it's kind of cool. No one's ever thought I was a ghost before. Yeah, well, it won't happen again, I promise. It's been a weird summer, you know? I promise I'll start acting like a normal person. Is that a promise? Promise. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh! Pizza. Excuse me. Yeah, normal. Dear Katie, today I made a complete idiot of myself. Hannah, hold on! Let me guess, you've decided my apology isn't enough and you never want to speak to me again. No, look at this. You said you lived at 49, right? Right. M but you can't live there. Why not? Because 49 Cordina Way burned down three years ago. That's impossible. My house is right here. No! <sighs> Hannah, don't! It's not safe! <laughs> You're right. There is a ghost around here. It's you. Come from, we usually just say hello. Daddy! Look out! <gasps> uh. Somebody here? Hello? I guess your daddy's mom? I'm Hannah, your neighbor? You're not listening to me because you're not really here. You're a ghost too. Hannah, hold on! You 
said you lived at 49, right? Right. 49 Cordina Way burned down three years ago. No! Hannah, don't! It's not safe! You're right. There is a ghost around here. It's you. I don't know what's going on around here, but I know I live in that house. Danny, are you coming? Danny! This isn't really happening. It's not true. ghost and I'm alone don't be sad Hannah you'll always have me who are you no one a spirit why have you been following me I must speak with you and I didn't want to scare you what do you want to help you to teach you to teach me what how to be a ghost <laughs> Everything was normal. I sat right over there and wrote a letter to Katie. So you thought. Before you knew what you were, you kept going through the motions of your life, day after day, unaware that the things around you had changed. But now no one can hear you. No one can see you. That's not true. Danny can see me. Stay away from him. Danny Anderson is not your concern. But he's my friend. You no longer have any friends. Without me, you have nothing. Hi. Go away! <gasps> oh, cool. What do you want from me? Come on, don't be so weird. We need to talk about this. Get out of my house! Danny! like this. Stay back, okay? Just stay away from us. Garlic, what do you think I am? A vampire? Nobody, Mom. I'm not talking to anybody. Thanks. Thanks a lot. What do you want anyway? Ten minutes ago we were friends, and now you're treating me like I'm some kind of... Ghost? Okay, so I'm a ghost. Why are you the only one who can see me? I don't know. Ghost rules? I need to find out why. Will you help me? Look, Hannah, I just don't think you should be coming around here anymore. Are you telling me to get lost? I don't need to see a doctor, Mom. All right, that's just great. I guess I won't be seeing you around here after all. Nothing, Mom, just the wind. Shadow?
as I said you would. Don't rub it in, okay? I'm ready to learn how to become a ghost. Good. Good, let's begin. Lesson one, basic haunting. First, pick your victim. Here he comes. So I see. Are you ready? It won't work. He'll walk right through me. Not if you concentrate. See, I told you it wouldn't work. You're holding back. You must concentrate harder. Use all your energy, all your strength. You can do it. Think harder. Yes! <laughs> Gotta quit that copy. <laughs> Haunting is hard work, but you learn to enjoy the afterlife. No, not like this. What is it? I didn't come back as a ghost to pull pranks on people. There's gotta be some reason. Danny's the only one who can see me, and I wanna know why. Nice meeting you. Hannah, come back here. You stay away from Danny Anderson, do you hear? Hannah! A ghost? In there? I'm telling you, I saw her. I talked to her in everything. Yeah, you know, I heard about her. She's got three heads and she plays the piano. Freddy, don't be such a wuss. They just make those stories up, you know, to keep little kids from going inside. Yeah. And falling through the floor or something. Yeah. It's not just stories, it's true. Yeah? So prove it. I can't. Nobody can see her but me. Oh, really? How convenient. <laughs> I thought you were cool. Come on, Freddy. Let's leave little Mr. Ghost Hunter here with his imaginary girlfriend. Wait, maybe I can get her to do something. <laughs> like what? I don't know. Something ghostly. Will you believe me then? To start. freaky on you and I kind of you know missed you and I hope you're doing okay I was just wondering if if you don't mind there's these two guys outside and they don't believe in you so I was thinking maybe you could do something like haunt them or something I guess this old place is worse than it looks. I guess. You better go. Hannah, I wanted to ask you something. I know, you want me to do things for your friends out there. Would you? Not right now, okay? You've gotta leave. Well, when? Just get out of here, now! Right, jeez, first you saved my life, and now you're yelling at me. 
I'll never figure out girls. Why did you do that? Why did you interfere? To save my friend's life? It's too late. What is that supposed to mean? His destiny is set. You cannot change it. Why do you want to hurt Danny? You wanted to know why he alone can see you. Hannah. Because by midnight tonight, he is destined to leave the land of the living, and I will at last have a shape, a body, like you. I will become a ghost, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. When the beam fell, and she pushed me out of the way? What? You got two strikes against you, man. First, you play chicken with the mailman and almost wind up part of the pavement. Second, you go on a simple ghost-finding mission. And what do you know? No ghost. We're going to have to have a meeting about this. Frederick? Get over here. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we decided to give you one more chance to prove yourself worthy of hanging out with us. The coolest guys in town. Are you ready? I don't know, guys. It's getting kind of late. Hey, this is a one-time only offer. Take it or leave it. What is it? Stink bomb. Guaranteed to turn your home or office into a stinking sewer of rotten eggs and dead fish. That's great. The smell, it never goes away. And we're going to give you the honor of setting it off. Setting it off on who? Um, who tried to run you over the other day? You want me to stink on the mailman? No one can be an official member of this neighborhood until they mess with Chesney. It's kind of like the law around here. Now, to make things even easier for you, Freddy has found Chesney's address. Oh, here it is. Careful, it's got, it's got a gummy stuck on it. So, what do you say? Are you uh, ready to make town history? Danny was the only one who could hear me. See me. Danny! And he's had one too many close calls. Where do you think you're going? I figured it out. I know I came back, not to be throwing mailbags around or scaring people. I came back to save Danny's life. There's nothing you can do. Danny Anderson will be gone tonight and I will take his form. But if it was gonna happen anyway, then why did you push that rafter? Don't question me, Hannah. It's because you're lying, isn't it? Danny's not supposed to be gone tonight. Admit it, you can't wait to become Danny. You're just trying to speed things up. You're trying to get rid of him. That's enough. You have much to learn, child. I don't need you to teach me how to be a ghost. I am a ghost, and you can't stop me. <laughs> Great, where are you? Mr. Chesney, 148 Pine Street. Why is he going to Mr. Chesney's? Take one pill every four hours. <laughs> sure, good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now all we gotta do is wait till he's asleep. Anybody uh, down there? 
Anyone? I, uh, I should warn you, I, uh, I studied karate. Oh, oh regard. <laughs> you naughty little munchkin. <laughs> you gave me quite a turn. <laughs> when did you get so clumsy? Oh, heaven's sakes. <laughs> Having yourself a bit of time tonight, were you? <laughs> Take it easy down here. Oh, for Well, let's get some shut eye. can't help him now. I win. No. No, you don't. Danny! Danny, are you in here? <laughs> no! Inside, please. Thank you. Oh, oh. <coughs> hello. <coughs> Anybody? <coughs> oh, oh no. <coughs> Come on. Okay, son. Just take it easy, Danny. Just try to lay still, huh? It's after midnight. Do you hear that? It's after midnight, and he's gonna be all right. You lose. You lose! No! Hannah, I can't see you anymore. Danny, I'm right here. Hannah? Hannah, where are you? Hannah! Goodbye, Danny. Hannah? Hannah? You've done a good job, honey. It's time to come home.
Watch out now. <laughs> Come on, let's go. More fun for everyone. Oh, yeah. Build a friendship. What if we make another me? Join us? We're practicing for the strawberry games. This is fun! Love your pets. A cat's gotta do what a cat's gotta do. Let's do lunch. Mm -hmm. Down, dumb dog. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. You can't touch this. Come on. What are you, from another planet or something? Step it up a little bit. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, and that's a sign that the tank is full. She's sweet, she's fun, she's strawberry shortcake. And with ginger snap, orange blossom, angel cake, Hi. and new friends raspberry tort and lemon meringue, mm. things in strawberry land grow better all the time. Or at least they used to. The once plentiful berries have disappeared. Where do you think they all went? Strawberry's garden has been taken over. I'll put the pie factory here. And that's just the beginning. Ever since the scheming pie man's shown up, everything's been turned upside down. It'll all be mine. All of it mine! Now it's up to Strawberry and her friends to put things right. I'm just a kid, you know. And you can bet she'll give it her very best. I'm sure we can do it if we all work together. So join the adventure as <laughs> Strawberry and all her friends travel to a magical world and discover for yourself whether dreams really do come true. Strawberry Shortcake, the Sweet Dreams movie. Coming to theaters October 2006. Your dad's gonna kill us if we found us here. It'll be okay. Unless, of course, you're too scared. I'm not scared. You're the one who's afraid of your own shadow. <gasps> you're not scared? Right. Look at all this stuff. Shocker on Shock Street films. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. But I can't believe your dad creates all the monsters for the Shocker movie studios. He's very creative. An engineering genius. I've never seen him before. Man, it looks so real. That's what makes a Shocker movie so good. The special effects are great. It feels like they're watching me. Don't worry, they're fake.
you good. Very funny, Dad. He just about scared my friend to death. Marty, meet my crazy father. Nice to meet you. Come on, Marty. It was a joke. It's not real. Feel it. Just one of my new creatures. Since you decided to visit my workshop, I thought I would test it out. So everything in this room is your creation? Marty, my boy. This is my world. I create the monsters that give children nightmares. Remember the Totonator? The acid-spitting frog. <laughs> then there was Snake Face. He loves raw meat. <laughs> These are my children, Marty. <laughs> All of them. I can't believe the studio pays me to do this. Hey, Dad. What's in that room? Don't you ever go in that room. It's off limits. Off limits. Okay. Dad, you don't have to yell. I don't like it. Well, uh, I think I have something you will like. What do you think? It's a tram car for a ride, right? Not just any ride. That is the tram for the new Shocker Studios tour ride. You mean the tour is going to open? Yes. And you are going to be the first two kids to ride it. Yes! Is the ride scary? I hope so. I tried to make it as real as possible. You see all the monsters from the Shocker movies. The tram will even take you down Shock Street. Oh, this is the best. Hope it's really scary. Why? You couldn't handle it. Me? Don't worry, you won't be disappointed. Hey, Dad. Can Mom come with us? Excuse me? What did you say? Can Mom come? She loves scary rides. No! You two will be the only ones on the ride. Shall we? <laughs> Ready for the ride of your life? This looks scary. Sorry for a scare. Cool. No lineups, no crowds. Now this is the way to see an amusement park. Whatever you do, don't get out of the tram. We can't walk down Shock Street? Absolutely not. Stay in the tram. No matter what. If you get into trouble, use these laser guns. Why do we need guns? Trouble? What kind of trouble? wants to take the tour.
Aaron, we're not moving. Just wait. It'll start up again. Hello? Is anyone there? Can anyone hear us? I'm not just gonna sit here. Remain in your seat. Do not leave the tram. I repeat, do not leave the tram. You heard my father. Whatever you do, don't leave the tram. Remember? Yeah. He probably didn't expect the ride to break. I'm getting out. Remain in your seat. Do not leave the tram. I repeat, do not leave the tram. Are you gonna help me? Try rocking it. It's broken down. I can't believe we're stranded here on this stupid ride. Can anyone hear me? We have to walk. Walk? Are you crazy? I don't even know where we are. Hey. Marty, wait up. <laughs> I hope those aren't bats. I hate that. Shock Street. It looks just like the movies. Dad told us not to walk on Shock Street. We have to find him. We have to find our way back. Aaron! This is where the toad near devoured those two bullies. And remember in the attack of the gopher people where the sheriff eats his lunch? This is where the townspeople came to get their weapons. Hello? Is anyone there? What are you doing? Dad, can you hear us? Why hasn't my dad sent someone to help us? We should have waited in the tram. Oh, come on. It's just a ride. A great ride. Your dad's a genius. I don't know. I have this weird feeling something's wrong. I want to get out of here. There's got to be a way back. What about in there? There is. Let's try the next. Cool. We shouldn't be here. Hey, there's your arcade. Let's go try it. Marty. Maybe. This will get us out of here. Maybe we should go back to the ride and wait. Come on. Next floor, talk to the Let's go in there, check it out. Marty, wait. Let go. Don't touch the gate. It says high voltage. That's all part of the tour. It's supposed to scare you. I don't know. It says do not enter. I don't think we should be over here. Since when did you become such a wimp? I'm checking it out. Fine. You're on your own. <laughs> Marty, 
Wake it up. Are you okay? I guess. I can feel those vaults ripping through my body. Let's get out of here. It's not working anymore. Let's go this way. Let's get out of here. Why would my dad put real electricity on that fence? Obviously didn't want anyone to get in. I think I know why. The toxic creep was no special effect. He was real. He was real, all right. And strong. Did you see his face? Oh, gross. Why would your dad create real monsters? I don't know. You hear that? What? I thought I heard footsteps. I don't hear anything. It stopped. That's a stupid question. I'd say it wants us for its afternoon snack. Maybe this isn't real. Maybe this is one big practical joke. It looks pretty real to me. There's only one way to find out. The laser guns! You're right, I forgot! Get back and you won't get hurt. Okay, you asked for it. Let's have it, Marty. still smell its fish breath. I know. I'll never eat tuna again. We're back on Shock Street. It's like we went in a circle. Look, my father. Your father? It's okay, I've got them now. What's he gonna do? I don't know. What did you do? What did you do to Marty? Why did you create these monsters? What have you done with my mother? Let me go! You're evil! Let me go! 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 Let me go. Shut down power for the tour. All personnel report to Shock Street. I repeat, all personnel report to Shock Street immediately. Please. 
pitch when they started talking about a mother. We never programmed them to think they had a mother. I know. Maybe some of the wires got crossed. I'm not sure. It's a shame these robots were a good way of testing to see if the ride was safe. Oh, well. Let's get him back to the workshop, take him apart, maybe find out what went wrong. I'm going to call you Aaron, too. And you? Marty, too. I hope I've made you more durable than the originals. Say you made us plenty durable. Durable enough for revenge, anyway. And you thought you could just discard us. But, but I've deactivated you. <laughs> so you thought. I guess there are some things you don't know about us, aren't there? We don't want to be deactivated. Do we, Marty? No, we don't like that. We don't like that at all. Everything wants to live. Even robots. No! out of that magazine. Yeah? Well, it's my money. I can do what I want with it. That's not what Mom says. Well, I'm sick and tired of Mom and everyone else telling me what to do all the time. Just once, I want to do things my own way. Mom, Seth bought some more junk. Possess ultimate control. Cool. program to bring you this important message from Armchair Electronics. Hello, I'm Tony Walton, the president of Armchair Electronics. Congratulations on your purchase of the Verona XG20 Universal Remote Control. For your own safety, please follow all instructions and warnings carefully. And now back to our regularly Four scheduled victim. program. I mean... 
in your room or something. I don't have to. How am I supposed to watch TV if you're tapping your brains out? How am I supposed to practice with the TV so loud? Turn it down, Seth. Seth, let Jamie practice. Just someone's gonna be coming in fun right after this! <laughs> Always be sure to keep the Verona XG20 universal remote control away from children. It's not a toy. Out of it, Jamie. What's going on? Jamie? Jamie? XG20 Universal Remote Control can be used in a variety of situations. But remember, like any good this? thing, it should be used properly and only in moderation. Hello? Hello? I swear I'm not lying. It's the coolest thing you've ever seen. Seth, you gotta stop talking like this. I can't hang out with somebody who thinks that they can control the world with a TV remote. What's up with this? Huh? See that? So yeah. Richard Holman picked on me every day last year, right? He'll never change. Wanna bet? 
Hey, come on. Back, huh? Give it back. Huh? Hey, what's the matter, Holman? Get tired of bugging me? Hey, buzz off, Gold, before you get between ah! his face and my fist, huh? Ooh. Now, what do you think you're gonna do with that? What am I gonna do? Check this out. Oh, I'm sorry you didn't answer that in the form of a question. <laughs> Mothers who suck their thumbs and the children who love them. That's up next on today's show. <laughs> oh, hello, friend. Didn't see you come in. Can you say Holman is a bully? Holman is a bully? <laughs> I knew that you could. <laughs> I don't feel so well. Uh. Whoa! I'm out of here! So, what do you think? <laughs> there are several do's and don'ts when it comes to using the XG20 Universal Remote Control. Let's review. <sighs> Do use the XG20 remote control to its full potential. Do use it for good. Don't misuse its powers. Don't let it control you. All right, put your English assignments away. You can finish them as homework. Take out a pencil. We are going to have a pop quiz. Oh, man, I didn't study. So what? Neither did I. You gotta start thinking bigger, Kev. Studying is a thing of the past. Huh? This isn't funny, Seth. It was funny with Holman, but this is bad, Seth. Here it is. This test will be a breeze, Kev. We shouldn't do this. Answers? That's cheating. So what? It's not like we're gonna get caught. What's happening to you, Seth? Please be quiet. I'm uh, trying to take a test. I feel an A-plus coming on, don't you? Caution. Continual misuse of the Verona XG20 Universal Remote Control will void the warranty, and the consequences can be severe. During this brief time out, you'll chill a little bit. Look. Oh, 
man. I knew something like this was gonna happen. Pressing the play button, but nothing. I must have broken when I hit the floor. We gotta fix this. Maybe we can take it to a repair shop. Kev, this isn't just some ordinary remote. Let's call the place that you got it from and ask them what to do. Good idea. Electronics. No one's answering. How could a business not answer the phone? Have you got their address? No, it doesn't say. Hello? If you have any questions regarding our products, Tim. please don't hesitate to call our answer line. Hello? Or if you prefer, you may visit our showroom at 26040 North Sandberg Place. Well, this is it. This can't be right. Anything about fixing stuff. I don't care. I can't just leave them there. It gives me the creeps. What if you make it worse? Trust me. How can I make it worse? Hello. to service the Verona XG20 Universal Remote Control. Opening the back of the device is dangerous. Please consult an authorized dealer. No, no, don't hang up! We tried an authorized dealer, but... Hello? Hello? He hung up again! I gotta fix this thing. This isn't a good idea, Seth. Shh. Ah, oh, this must be what's rattling. Looks like it fits in here. What was that? I don't know. Maybe we fixed it? Here we go. Oh no. Maybe the battery's are low. Try shaking it. That always works on our remote. Waiting for an apology. Oh, I'm sorry, Mom. <laughs> sorry, Jamie. Don't even think about it. Oh my gosh, look at the time. I'm starving. Have we had dinner yet? It's good to hear your voice again, Dad. Let's go. It worked. Man, that was close. Can we get rid of this thing now? But I fixed it. Seth. Put it right in the bottom. There. What time do they pick up the trash? Not soon enough for me. Yeah. See you tomorrow. See ya. <laughs> I 
What am I, crazy? that thing away last night. You did. And what are you doing with it? Well, I, I tried to get rid of it, but it kept on magically appearing in my room. You're lying, Seth. Not very well. So what if I am? I mean, Seth, you've got to get rid of that thing. It's changed you. The right has changed me. I'm not a wimp anymore. But it's dangerous. You almost turned your family into a permanent still life. I know why you're mad. Because you didn't get to the garbage can first. Maybe you did, but you weren't quick enough. Seth, you're being a jerk. Now give me the remote. No. Give it to me. You can't have it. <sighs> Seth. <sighs> Try that again. You'll really be sorry. your new Verona XG20 Universal Remote Control. If treated with proper care, it will bring you a lifetime of enjoyment. No, Tony, wait! All I need are some batteries! Thank you. 